But thank you very much, Joe. I'm, I'm honored to be a participant in this uh, webinar series. And uh, our family ranch, Imperial Stock Ranch, was homesteaded in 1871. And for more than 150 years now, we've raised sheep and cattle and produced grains and hay in Oregon's interior high desert. By 1900, our homestead had become the largest individually owned land and livestock operation in the state of Oregon, and eventually becoming one of the big, biggest um, Western range sheep operations. Our annual rainfall used to be eight to 10 inches a year, uh, but we haven't seen that for a few years. So maybe this is our new normal and we're all dry land farming. Uh, we farm between uh, three and 4,000 acres of cropland, but no irrigation. In the late 1980s, my husband worked with our local agency partners to evaluate our landscape and put together a management plan with the health of the land as the focus. We launched our conservation management plan in 1989, motivated to do that by the decline in spawning salmon numbers in our creeks, by the desire to improve productivity across this broad landscape, and ultimately to ensure our future. That plan became our guide. And then 10 years later in 1999, we lost our wool market, primarily due to offshoring of the textile industry. And business as usual was not going to work in marketing that harvest anymore. We were challenged to find a new way forward and this step would ultimately change our lives and lead us to where I am today. 13 years from beginning that work, that challenge we faced in 1999, in the summer of 2012 during the London Olympics, we got what I began referring to as the call. It led to a relationship that had the power to influence others. Ralph Lauren sourced our wool yarns for their first ever Made in America Olympic uniforms for Team USA for the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia. But even greater than that, they chose to tell our story. One out of 40 some manufacturing partners, they told our story. A year later, as more brands were now coming because of that, that um, because of the story they told about us, one of those was Patagonia. They called on us to develop a new wool supply and they asked us to be third party audited for our land management and our animal husbandry practices under a new global standard that was in the process of development called the Responsible Wool Standard. That standard launched in 2016 and we became the first ranch in the world certified to that standard. By 18, I saw the need to scale the supply of RWS certified wool produced in America. And that's when I formed Shanical Wool Company to do exactly that. In early 2020, we responded to increasing concern over the ecosystem impacts of ranching practices by textile brands I was working with. And it was time to go beyond observation and narrative, beyond species counts, uh, yield data, and agency partner testimony, and even third-party audits, we began to see that it was time to actually measure the impacts of our ranching operations. And so I began working with a team of range scientists from Oregon State University, and we developed a comprehensive research and measurement effort that I launched in 2020 called the Shanico Wool Carbon Initiative. We are currently 10 ranches strong, in the West, that's part of Shanico Wool's farm group, meeting the RWS standard. We're grazing collectively 2.6 million acres. And for that group, for that wool supply, my goal is to determine the carbon footprint of each ranching operation and quantify and then third party verify our net carbon, net carbon capture plus collateral benefits. We now have three years of data I'm just putting up one, one slide here from our ranch in Oregon. But we have three years of data on our ranch with six rounds of sampling. We have two years of data on a million and a half acres. And we've baselined another about one million acres. And what's amazing is the preliminary results, even in these uh, semi-arid Western rangelands. So for the past year, we've been aligning with a company who found me, who came out of Europe, wanting to work in the United States in ecosystem and carbon markets, voluntary markets. So we have been focused on uh, their science team evaluating our model. And this has been a really exciting year because it's moved us forward much faster than I thought 
possible. What we see them as is a strategic new partner, a new stakeholder that's critical to our future as family um, ranching operations. Thank you.